How you doing my beautiful Jays? Welcome back to my home, Mi Casa Es Tu Casa. Today I want to talk to you about affordable ways on how to make your living room sofas go from old to new. I know sometimes we'll be tight in a budget and we don't have room to take out money to spurge in new sofas. So what do you do? You don't want to keep having your old engine sofas. You can either do one thing, either clean them up and straighten them up, but some of the, sometimes, even though after you clean them and you know refreshing them that way, it still seems that it's not good enough, and you still got the urge that you want new sofas. But the budget doesn't cut it. So how do you do that? You do it with pillows. Um, I have this sofas, they second hand pass, you know, and I was grateful for that. Now at the beginning of when I moved here, the decor that I had went perfectly with it. Because these pillows back here, I know you can see through them. You see that it has like little shapes on it. But this pillow is brown with gray and um, greens and stuff like that. But when I wanted to bring that blue, white, silver, playing out decor, um, fluffy stuff like these two back here, it didn't incorporate well with my decor. Now I started looking at my sofa is kind of old as I brought the elements like the silver you know pineapple or that light up and sign things like that was making my decor and my style of the sofas look kind of dingy so my tight my budget is tight and I'm pretty sure some of you have budget that are tight and doesn't let you spurge for new sofa so what I did was I spent a couple of dollars I saved five dollars here five dollars there and until I had enough money to um, buy some pillows now this pillow right here that I'm gonna take out I only pay five dollars at Fala's so I know you find similar pillows like that Michaels and you find similar pillows like this at TJ Maxx and they run for like fifteen dollars twenty dollars to like thirty fifty dollars a pair I only pay um, $5.99 for this one. So all I did to bring out the bling that I'm trying to incorporate into my decor was buy this little rhinestone. It's a little pack that I found at Walmart for a dollar and I just glued them to the pillow. Now I bought this other one back here which is this one right here. Right here that you see. And it has a different pattern as the other one. And it also was a Fellas and I also spent I think it was $4.99, $5.99. So, a total of two, four, six pillows for like $30. So, that's not bad. I didn't have to spend $600, $700 to have good looking sofas. I could still use the old sofa that I have, but bring it up to style as a picture that I'm going to post around here somewhere if I could. Um, but if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and all, you will know how my de decor started. Um, when I first moved to this place. Now, these pillows right here are the original pillows from the sofas. So all I did went to Dollar Tree and picked up four satin pillowcases in the color white and I placed one on each of them. Now, of course, I have to go back a second time, but they don't usually have them all the time to pick up four more so I could place them on top of this one and like that you're not able to see the little design under it but it works now this pillows right here I only spent like two dollars for both of them I don't remember six dollars for both of them and I bought them at Amazon and it took forever to get here um, but it was a reasonable price now all I did was get two kitchens that I was that I had prior that were green one was green one was blue and white um, that I had before that I wasn't using it didn't go out over my decor and all I did was put this kitchen covers on top of it and Created them pillows now, you know if you buy this type of pillows like this at TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls and all this at home store, you know and stuff like that they cost pretty much a, a lot of dollars So if I were to count the money that I spent on the pillow is way less than what I will spend in a pair of new sofa so all I spent was like 30 like about a total of forty dollars to forty five dollars to make it you know that high and that's all it took to make my sofas from old to new so a tip before you go running and spending a lot of money on new sofas and just look at what you got see if what you got works 
a, a totally new new so far and it doesn't go to the core and you just had enough from them then that's okay then do what you must and do what you gotta do but if you can prolong the life of your sofas for a little bit longer without investing in new sofas and just purging in some new pillows then that's a quick tip so that's my tip for you um like always if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i would love to have you in my channel and being part of my family but like always guys until then thanks for your love and support and i'll see you in my next video bye bye